Welcome to Hot Paws Unboxed. Today we're going to be showing you the Sam 4's ER5200M cash register. Very popular machine for restaurants, cafes, supermarkets and convenience stores due to the number of buttons we can fit on the display. In our box we have the machine, the ER5200. We have two rolls of paper, as this is a two station machine, one journal printer, one receipt printer. We have our keys. Just a quick note on the keys, there is two sets of keys for every position on the key lock. The key locks do different things. Register for example is where you register your items, Z is for end of day reports, P is for programming, void is to void off a sale. The one we're going to be inserting today though later on in our training will be the C key. It goes to an unmarked position on the key lock called service mode. This is used for our initial setup and high level programming. Good idea to keep on to that one. Don't leave it into the key lock for your staff to use. That one should be on your person or in the safe. Also, we have the manual and this is the end of a spindle, which we'll show you in a second, uh, to hold the paper into the printer. So, after we take out of the box, there are just a few bits of tape to take off, which have been holding it in place during its travels. There's one at the front and one at the back of the paper cover. We're going to be taking the paper cover off to put the paper in. The paper lives in our little black plastic here. Two lots of thermal rolls. They're the 57 mil wide thermal rolls which are also sold by Hot Paws. We simply lift. There's a lip at the back. We lift off the paper cover like so. You'll also find on first inspection there are a few bits of tape just to take off it just keeps everything nice and tight once on its travels to you. So we take off all those bits of tape. Then this is the receipt printer on the left hand side. We have a little lip we push forward and open in the clamshell printer design. The clamshell design is great because it does not lead to any sort of paper jams. The paper simply sits in the bottom and comes out the front. The correct way to insert the paper roll is with the paper feeding from underneath, not from over the top. This is the correct way, this is the incorrect way. The paper simply sits at the bottom and you pull the receipt forward and you close the lid. No feeding or jamming. On this machine, as is a two station printer, we also have a journal printer which records every button press you do. Great for security, any arguments about change, it's all displayed on the journal printer. Again the same idea, we have a lip, we remove the paper, there is a spindle which we'll use in a minute to carry the excess paper as it's wound up. We then again drop the paper in, feeding from underneath, out the front, down, clip automatically clips. You want to give yourself actually a fair bit of room on this one so you can wind it on the spindle. Here we have our spindle, there is a little slit inside the spindle there where we pop the paper for the first time in like so. It is just a little tricky but once you get it once you understand how it works. And that clips, you just hold it down like so and you wind it on a few winds, keeping it nice and tight. And you basically wind that down Put on your spindle like so, that just clips in, and that sits over the little cradle, and that's as long as that free wheels like that, you have installed it correctly. We then take our paper cover, we pop the paper through the slit at the front, you'll notice the slit has some teeth which actually are there to tear the receipt after printing it. Once that goes through, we pop the lid in at the front first, and then clip it down, tear off the paper, and we are ready to go. Alright, so the next step is we're going to insert our C key, which we use for the initial setup and programming, into the machine, and we're going to turn the machine on on the right hand side. You'll notice here on the right hand side of the machine is where the hard on off switch lives. There is also two RS232 serial ports. 
These can be used for a number of devices, one of which we'll display shortly. Popular in cafes and restaurants to have a remote kitchen printer to allow you to print items that you ring up on the register directly out in the kitchen. You can also attach a weighing scale, a barcode scanner, or it can be connected to PC to pull back sales data into a program called Sampos, sold by Hotpos, to record sales data over time. Just orientate the cash register back around. Okay. The great thing about Sampos cash registers is we turn it on on the right hand side is it straight out of the box, they're pre-programmed for Australian GST and you can basically use them straight away. So, we turn the key around to Reg, the first thing we're faced with is on the display, it says register mode closed. On all Sam Falls machines, you need to log on with a clerk the first time around. So you press number one on the keypad, and then the clerk button, top right hand corner. You'll get a print and it will say register mode. Right from the outset now we can actually start ringing up transactions. So what we'll do is we'll ring up so $10 to PLU number one and, and $5 to PLU number two. So if we ring up 10 we go one zero double zero. You'll notice I didn't use the decimal point and $10 appears on the display. If you use a decimal point the machine will beep at you. There is never any need to use that decimal point. After ringing up the $10 you press number one, it records ten dollars against PLU one. If we do five dollars, five double zero, we can do that against PLU number two. If we have five dollars fifty, again we don't use a decimal point, we just go five five zero and perhaps we put that against number three. At that stage, if that's the all the items in the customer's order, we can press subtotal. It gives us a running total of the customer's total and at this stage, if they hand you a $50 note to complete the sale, the sale you can press $50, 5000 cash. The cash will open, the receipt will print, and the amount of change required for the customer will display, and you can hand them the change. Some features of the 5200 that set it apart from some of the lower models in the Sanfors range are, of course, the journal printer is number one. Very handy for high volume transaction environments because you can quickly see at a glance when the tape is off, you lift the lid, you can see transactions underneath this clear window. If there's a change dispute or there's a bit of a, a disagreement about what buttons were pressed at the end of the day between managers and their staff, you can sort of go back to the journal and you can check the actual individual button presses. Very, very handy indeed. Uh, also, you'll notice when printing receipts on this, there is a paper cutter. Um, that just makes it nice and easy again for high volume transaction environments. So you don't have to be ripping the paper across the tear bar um, time after time after time. As in a supermarket, the paper will simply cut and you can hand the paper to the customer. Other terrific features of the 5200, uh, obviously when you, at first glance you can see the large number of keys. It has 117 programmable keys, terrific for fast service. Even if it's not a restaurant or cafe and it's a supermarket, there are things that are difficult to scan, such as magazines and newspapers. You can have them quickly at a button press here, um, as well as any drinks from the fridge and so forth. Other features are the big bright customer display. This is, this is a terrific feature. It is also a tilting display. Um, there is a button here you can press. The display tilts up and down um, depending on the height of the operator. We also have the customer display here which turns 270 degrees to orientate towards the customer so they can see the transactions being recorded as you go. Also on the 5200M we have two serial ports on the side. As previously mentioned, they are great for expandability and connectivity. You can turn the simple cash register into a cafe restaurant POS machine by attaching a remote printer such as this here. This can live in the kitchen. The dockets that you ring up here, as well as giving a customer a seat, will produce an order docket here for the chef to start completing the order. You can have two printers attached in fact, one can be going to the kitchen out the back, 
one can be going to the barista making your coffees out the front making for an invaluable and very well priced complete point of sale solution you can also attach barcode scanners and PC connectivity to help you program the till and get meaningful sales reports. Another correction key is the void key. This is used for any item other than the last sale. For example, if we ring up $1 to department 1 and $2 to department 2 and then we realize the customer does not really want that first item to department 1 or we've made a mistake and that should really go to another category. We simply press void first and then we register the item as though we were making the sale. We'll see then on the display it says minus one dollar and we can then register it to the correct department. If you get really stuck on the cash register, if we've rung up a lot of items and we've made a few mistakes and perhaps we want to start again or as can sometimes happen a customer has registered a lot of items, gone to use Erifpos card and there's some problem at the bank, you can simply clear the sale and start afresh by pressing the cancel button here. So if I press cancel, cancel appears on the display, a ticket is printed to prove that it's cancelled. You may want to get your operators at that stage to sign the cancel, give a reason and then put it in the drawer. Another invaluable button on the cash register you will use often is called the return or refund button. This is used to uh, negate a sale or give a refund to a customer outside of an ordinary transaction. So if a customer returns to you the next day requiring a refund, what you would do is you press the return button first, you enter in the price and put it against the PLU item that was purchased. You will notice on the display it says minus one dollar. If the customer paid by cash, at this stage you press cash and displayed on the display is you need to give one dollar to your customer as it a minus and you take the merchandise return ticket perhaps get your staff to sign it get a manager to sign it and put it in your drawer perhaps one of the most important buttons you require when starting out with a cash register is the clear button um, when you make a sequence error by pressing a button out of turn uh, it will get the dreaded beep it's very easily fixed by quickly pressing the clear button for example if we are not in a sale and we decide we want to press check to finalise on a check, we will get warning sequence error. At this stage, pressing clear will clear the beeping noise. Whenever you hear the cash register beep, clear will clear the beeping noise. Alright, performing an end of day on these cash registers is very simple. On the ER5200 you simply turn your key around to the Z position on the display it will display report mode. The most important report is called a financial report. It's made by pressing 1 then subtotal. You'll notice the cash drawer will open. The financial report will print out of the receipt printer. On here is your important information like daily total sales, GST, cash in draw, very important for balancing your till. You may also want to print the PLU report which shows you individually what you sold during the day and gives you a total for each item in terms of dollars and a total count. We do that by pressing 3 then subtotal and there is our PLU or item report. The 5200M is a member of the famous Sam Fors family, one of the most trusted names in the cash register industry in Australia. This particular model has been out for a very long time and has served every customer that has it around Australia very, very well. It comes with a 12 month standard warranty and of course you get the Hot Pos difference when you buy a cash register from Hot Pos. You get access to a complete range of online help videos sales features, hot pos help website with complete with setup guides including connectivity to devices, 